What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and there's been one question that's been tossed around my channel a lot recently and the question is, what happened to Hover City? And the answer is really simple, Hover City hovers and it floated away. No, but in all seriousness, um, there, there were a few issues with Hover City and I know a lot of new people have come to my channel and have probably seen the Hover City playlist. There is a whole playlist on all the Hover City creations. I'll post that in the description down below. Um, but basically, Hover City was just that. It was, it was a city and so you can see if I search my lift here for Hover City, a lot of stuff comes up. And uh, I had a lot of different things. I had office buildings, so uh, you know, if we, if we go and grab one of these modules here, let's grab, this is the first Hover City module ever built. And it was, you know, a really simple concept. And, and the idea behind it was each of these modules would hover uh, once you, of course, turn them on. And turning them on was just wiring into this pink switch here. And you can see there. And does it... Why do you not... Oh, that's right. This one, this one, this one doesn't... This one's the one that turns them all. This one has to be turned on from up here. Right, this pink switch. So this was the main control module. And you would actually, you know, come up in here... And you could get up in here and get into this seat here with these display screens. And obviously, I would have to go back and replace all this glass because this was before the days of the two different types of glass. But anyways, you know, it would hover around and you could use uh, WASD and it would slowly move. And uh, all the controls there, you can see the WASD controls get relayed on that series of lights, that series of logic gates. And, uh, you know, we had also a, a switch here which would turn on all the sections and then a button which would... Basically, it was the master reset button. It would actually trigger the reset in all the doors and all the circuits in the entire city. And so it was a pretty cool idea, really. And, and you know, you could build more sections. So we had initially this, this main building section. And then we had, uh, if we go search here again, we had other sections. For example, the giant office building, which was um, just a behemoth of a section. And, oh goodness, there goes the lag. So... Really, this is this is one of the problems with Hover City, and this was really the main problem with Hover City. Is um, I loved building sections. I loved building a lot of different types. Uh, come on, why were, is it so laggy? Can I? Why are you up to here? Perfect, and then turn that on. Oh God, oh God, what what's happening? Oh God, why is it zero FPS? What this what this has never happened before. I had to reload the entire game. That actually like completely crashed. It didn't bug splat though. It just completely froze up my computer. Um, but before we spawned the office section, we were at about 200 FPS, about 190 to 200 frames with just this one block spawn. And uh, now with this one, we're down to about 55. And it seems to be staying there, but you can see already what the problem might be. And that was that Hover City was cool, and you know the sections were great and all that but the biggest problem was just the lag and the sections are all meant this one now mind you this one's got a full it's got a full elevator on it with a ton of logic to handle the elevator so it's got a nine floor elevator with selections and you know again all these videos are in the maybe these sections are too close together maybe that's why it's lagging let's see if we move them apart if that makes any difference i don't think it will to be perfectly honest but let's 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 try here maybe these are just way too close all right, let's go back over here. Move this one. Does that does that make a difference? And it's still still terrible. That one office building section is just terrible. I had a lot of other large sections as well. So the office building obviously being one of the tallest, uh, nine stories tall. And I thought it would have been great to have you know four or five office buildings, but you can barely even have one. Um, another big one, of course, would have been the one that was uh, on the workshop for a while, which is the Hover City Airport. Definitely the biggest section. Uh, won't even let me place it here. You're gonna let me... Can I place it? Perfect. So just a monstrous, uh, monstrous section here. And yes, you can actually land a plane on it. I did have a... I do have a small Hover City jet that you can land on it. But if we just come over here and, uh, watch the lag kill us again. Perfect. And then do this. Oh, brilliant. And then run and jump and hit the switch. Oh, yeah. Look at that timing. And the game crashed again. Are you serious? The game the game just actually is going to crash on all these sections? So this... Oh, no. There it goes. It recovered. This never actually used... Oh, no. It's dying again. Oh, hear that, hear that awesome remix. 
So now you guys can kind of see why Hover City sort of died. I mean, the original intent of Hover City, if we if we go back and spawn our control section here, right? So the original intent of Hover City was to have a control section like that, and then to connect up another section. Let's say, oh, I don't know. Let's let's take these, uh, you know, the four apartment building, the quadplex. Sure. And then the idea was that you would take your city section like so, and you would take your other section like so. And you would just weld the two of them together. Like this. Perfect. And then you'd create the bridge. And then, you know, purple goes across to purple. And blue goes across to blue. And it always feeds out from the control center. Out towards each of the sections that you want. And the beauty is, I, I designed a multi-wire system. So no matter what, if the signal gets fed from this side. Or if the signal gets fed from the other row. The other road over here. It doesn't matter. It'll always pass the signal through using this device to the other side and it'll always shut off which basically essentially creates a double-sided logic wire and what that allows you to do is have the sections connected in any direction but also it means if you connect another section onto the edge of this one uh, you can continue the city and the signal would pass along so what this does in theory is if we take this off the lift and probably die from some lag yeah it's a little bit a little bit terrible if we activate the hovering sequence, it's a little bit less laggy. Um, I'm getting a total of 15 FPS instead of, you know, the usual 6. But it's it's very... And these aren't even very big sections. You can see the airport doesn't even work anymore. It crashed the game. And sort of, this is kind of what happened to Hover City. I mean, I, I liked the project. It was a cool project, and it had a lot of potential. But, you know, you can't really have much of a city with two buildings randomly floating in the sky at 13 frames per second. Right, let's see if the racetrack would spawn. The airport was huge. The racetrack's also very large. It's lagging like crazy. You gonna... You gonna spawn? Oh, oh yeah, okay. It just magically appeared there. Perfect. Is there a switch here? Oh, there is a switch on the front. Perfect. So we'll activate... Oh, God. You know, I wonder if it's all the particle effects that's killing the game. Let me, let me see if I turn off particle effects, if that makes any difference. Options. No. Options. Okay. Graphics. Uh, particle effects. Particle off. Did that... Does that make all the difference? Oh, maybe it is. Is it really just the particle effects? Well, I might... I might be a little stupid here now. Okay, hold on. So let's... Let's try... Let's go over here now and let's spawn the airport. While we have that, because I'm getting, this is good, I'm getting 75 frames. Maybe it's just their new particle effects that killed killed that section of it. But it, it is still very laggy when you have multiple sections attached together, uh, regardless of the particle effects. But let's do that here real quick. We're at a total of 8 frames, 8 frames per second. So my bad, the airport does still in fact work. Um, it's just the new particle effects which kills the game, which is kind of interesting. But it is it is working in fact, both sections are hovering without the particle effects. At a very awesome 11 frames per second. So you can still see there is there is still a huge problem and it's frustrating. And, you know, I, I know the suggestion came up a few times. Well, what if you made Hover City with completely separate platforms uh, that are, you know, across the map from each other? And that kind of gets disproved right here. I mean, this is kind of the same thing. Let's spawn the smallest section we have for the Hover City. Because one, there was a suggestion to come along and build the Hover City out of a bunch of individual small platforms and just kind of drive between them with hover ships. And I thought that was a really cool idea and I would love to do that. But let's just see here if we take this one section and let's just wire it up. So this is the smallest section. This is actually a thruster module. It just has a lot of thrusters in it. And the idea behind this one is it had a four-way connection wire so you could go in all four directions and it would also control you can see there are these bottom arrows you line it up and it would help tug the city along so you would place these thrusters in the corner of the city once you had all these different sections attached and they would tug the city in whatever direction you wanted to go and that that's how you would move the whole city around and depending on how big your city became you would just add more of these thruster modules but let's try creating a bunch of them here i've just saved it with the switch already attached uh, where is it here? Okay, so so that's two. We're still at a solid frame rate And I mean it would be really cool to have a city made up of small platforms and you just kind of drive between them I 100% agree with that, but let's see how many small platforms we can get before it becomes a, a problem here So that's three. We're still at a hundred frames per second and I am spacing these relatively far apart I don't want the physics to interact with them. We're still at a hundred and hundred FPS. Okay, let's let's go over here now 
I mean, maybe we could we could remake Harvest City out of a bunch of small platforms. It would look kind of cool. You just see all these floating buildings all over the sky. Still at 100 frames. I mean, we haven't lost too much yet. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's let's see what this does. No, still 100 frames. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's the possibility, guys. Maybe maybe if we make smaller platforms, don't do anything with the uh, you know the large airport type stuff, and continuously make a bunch of small ones, we could in fact possibly have a hover city that looks like this and that would be pretty cool we could make little hovercraft that float between it but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think uh i mean there's really a few options the options are you know don't go back to hover city at all just you know leave it it was a good project it was cool it was fun uh but leave hover city the second option being of course you know let's bring back hover city let's go back into the hover city make some more modules even though we can't connect them yet and let's hope and pray that one day the devs will fix that issue or the third is make hover city 2.0 do we make hover city better and with all these individual individual smaller platforms so the platforms won't be as large they won't move they'll well they'll move independently each one will have its own control but they won't all move together as a group but you'll be able to float between them with hovercraft and that sort of thing so let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below i'm also going to put a poll up in the video that's in the top uh right i think top right there's a little eye there that's a little poll vote for your option let me know what you think in the comments down below and uh I'm, I'm i am i do have to apologize that i didn't continue the hover city project and i never really made any sort of formal announcement for it i was just kind of answering people's questions as they came up uh but i did want to let you guys know it is for sure 100 a performance thing and i was tired of making these big sections that people just couldn't use you couldn't play with them unless you had a super pc and even then you couldn't really spawn multiple versions of it and you couldn't have multiple people so let me know what you guys think and uh, make sure you guys hit that like button down below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you all next time